So, Paul, I've brought you up to the northeast of England, where I'm from. Uh, yeah, I'm a smoggy. I a very I'd... beautiful pub. It is beautiful. Fantastic. Um, it's like a hidden gem yeah. of the UK. This is the backdrop to your Christmas trip. Wow. So Middlesbrough's over yonder, <laughs> where I'm from. You'll be all right. Oh. Don't worry, you'll be all right. <laughs> Thanks. And um, some beautiful fishing. Yeah. Look at that. Look, there's the river. There it is. There's, there's the yes. river. Yes. Yeah. Gosh, it's beautiful. Whoa. A little glimpse there of paradise, Bob. A little waterfall. So that river's carved its way look through some that, pretty Whoa. solid rock. Smell. For, it's probably been doing it for around a thousand years. <laughs> <laughs> So, do you like Christmas, Bob? <sighs> Honestly, Bob, not really, no. Not really? Well, I love it for my kids, but for me, no. Well, I hope after this trip, maybe you'll feel a little bit more the spirit of Christmas. Yeah. Well, That's me. You what, That's I'm, me. You are the spirit of Christmas. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, Bob, this is getting me in the mood, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'll take this one. Oh. Oh, hi, Carl. You are, uh, look at you, boy. Yeah, you never get to what I'm with. Take a look, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 it's tight house, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This trip's gonna cost me an arm and a leg. I love you. I love you. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> ciao and bella fragmento. See you, Carl. Are you doing your train guy there? Yeah, Bob? that's how you do business now. Oh, that's your business persona. Yeah, yeah, it's very different to your normal yeah. persona. If you apply for a mortgage or whatever, yeah, go in, sit with the bank manager. Ah, oh, look at you, boy, <laughs> <laughs> selling mortgages. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> hilario. Beautiful, Bob. You enjoy it? Oh, fantastic. But time to go fishing. And where are we going now? To the River S. Would you mind opening the car door? Thank you. There it is, Paul. The beauty, isn't it, Bob? Yeah. The first place I fished was yeah. just up river from here. Yeah. Yeah. There's some grading in it. It's a chance for salmon this time of year up here, Bob. With sea trout, a lot of sea trout. Nice. And they're very shy fish, you know. Mm, right here. And they yeah. like a bit of darkness, do they? Well, yeah. You see the colour of the river there, Bob? It's like Yorkshire tea, isn't it? <laughs> Best tea world, isn't it? Oh, best tea in the world. Yorkshire tea. Right. We actually get it from India, you know. Right. <laughs> Put a Yorkshire spin on it. Put a Yorkshire spin. call it our brew. <laughs> <laughs> Spectacular. Come on, let's fish. Here we go, Bob. Look at that, look. Wow. Do you know what we call this, Bob, in the angling world? Nook and cranny fishing. Really? Yeah. And what's a nook and what's a cranny? Well, that's for you to find out, my lovely. <laughs> nice, look at you. You look like an American bass angler, you know? Yee ha! Look at that. Yeah, definitely. What? Just wait for the bite. That! Oh! <laughs> Did that shock you? Oh. All right, Bob. You coming over? Yep. Old man in the river. I'll put a really heavy fly on. Look at it. That's a bit Christmassy, isn't it? Gaudy, pointless, trivial, 
superficial, yeah? Yeah. Because that's what it's become, Robert. I explain. Well, look at it. It's an orgy of consumerism, isn't it? From September onwards. People start talking about it in July. It doesn't have... That's your individual choice, Paul. Buy this crap. Buy that crap. You must buy this rubbish, right? Yeah. That actually, the real heroes of today... Ah. Uh -huh. The anti-heroes, if you like, the few people standing up saying, no, Scrooge, yeah. the Grinch, me and Robert De Niro in Taxi Driver. That is so sad, Paul. Not really. No, that is really, really sad. If I was to say to you, Bob, that really I'm angry about Christmas lost, that's what, what I'm angry about. What, the Christmas of your youth, you mean? Yeah, the childhood. What was your childhood Christmas like? Classic Christmas day when you were eight. Very, very traditional, run downstairs. Maybe get up very early, you know. You should never run downstairs, Paul. Oh, right, sorry. Thank so... you. <laughs> Stocking. A few nuts, which I never ate. Yeah? Raspberry uh, ripple, though. What, an ice cream in your stocking? No, like, not a raspberry. What do you call it? Raspberry cream. They're an oh. old lady's chocolate, aren't they? Yeah, they are, but, that was, you know, when I was a kid, I loved them. Right. The best presents I ever got, a boxing ball, you know, a board you stood on. I remember punch ball, them, yeah. A leather football and a scale electric. It's a great gift, isn't it? Isn't it? Do you remember a, a particularly bad present you got, Paul? I don't remember particularly bad presents as a kid. What was your most disappointing present? I once unpacked me big present, you know, yeah. like it was a box. And I unpacked it and it was a blackhead removal sauna. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember going upstairs to the front window when we overlooked a playing field. Yeah. And there's lads out on chopper bikes, new football. And you had your blackhead removal. And I had removal. a blackhead removal sauna, yeah. <laughs> and did you think, I'll have the last laugh on you in a few years, guys? <laughs> With the <my> complexion. <laughs> Good though it is, Bob. Come with me. I'm coming. We're changing venue, all right? Trying another little bit. Lovely. To me, it looks very fishy over there. Yeah? Go on, Robert. So when you're at home at Christmas with your quarter chicken on your lap, watching Elf, yeah. you find nothing at all, no contentment, not a warm glow of Christmas spirit. I actually have a really sort of... I have a sort of empty, lost feeling after Christmas has gone. Yeah. When I... The, the realisation kicks in, oh, that was Christmas. You know, it's not what it was. And um, I suppose you'll say that's all the more reason to really make it work. Yeah, because in 15 Christmases, you'll be that empty chair that everyone's remembering. And do you want them to remember you like, ooh? <laughs> Is that what you want? Because that's what you're heading for. Is it? Well, as I've said, Bob, you're going to have to go some to persuade me that Christmas is worthwhile, really. Now, that was silly, wasn't it? No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. What shall I do? The spin is in the water. The line is in the, the tree. The line is in the tree. The spin is in the, the water. water. The, the line, line is, is in the tree. tree. Right, wind it very slowly. Ah. Hey! hey. Welcome home. Yeah. Right, I'll go and have a couple of casts up above you then, Bob, all right? OK, dog. Bob. Do you see a fish? No, I'm looking at the light. Beautiful, isn't it? Always look into the light, Bob. I'm in, I'm in. <laughs> sea trout, I think. Bob? <laughs> <laughs> well done, Paul. I think it's a sea trout. They're not very big, but he's uh, very welcome, isn't he? Isn't he, though? Yeah. OK. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Paul.
Beautiful sea trout. Oh, isn't he purple? Isn't he, look? You okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Just get him back. Wow. Oh, whoa. Gee, blimey, he shot off, so... He did, didn't he? Yeah. I think you caught you made him late for an appointment back actually. <laughs> I think so, mate. He's in a rush now, isn't he? He actually rocketed off, didn't he? Well, it's our first uh, Christmas fish, Paul. Yeah. I think the day is done, Bob. We must go and see the uh, splendid accommodation that you've laid on for me. It is quite special. The seaside, Paul. Look at this little harbour town. Go oh, on, look at it. This is Staines, yeah, it's just round the corner from Middlesbrough. How beautiful. And Paul, let me introduce you to the fishermen's cottages. F well, we're fishermen. This is, is this yeah. where we are. Yeah. Well, we got our own. That's little... yours, and that's mine. And I thought, <sighs> how cosy to have little adjacent fishermen's cottages. Well, it's nice to not be in the same house as you, Bob. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hello? Hello, sir. Oh, God, it's you. That's right, Chivers, sir. You remember my name. I've been in the family now for over 300 years. Yes, hello, Chivers. Could you get me a drink, Chivers? Certainly, sir. What would you like? Get me a beer, Chivers. <laughs> Certainly, sir. Yes. And I don't appreciate your casual dress, actually, Chivers. I'll back out, sir, shall I? Yes, please. Never take my eyes off you, sir. <laughs> Did you put that sign in your window? Yeah. Let's make a list of Christmas things, like Christmas cake. Yeah. Christmas... <laughs> Christmas pudding. Yeah. The Christmas tree. Oh, yeah, I like a Christmas tree. Good, we've made some progress. Yeah. I don't like Christmas cake and I don't like Christmas pud. OK. What do you have for pudding then on Christmas? Then? I it's... eat the Christmas a pud. pack of rolls. No, because if you put brandy butter with it and some custard, then it's, mm. then it's all right. I've got you marked. You put the brandy on and light it, don't you? No. Yeah, you do. No, don't. I'll be doing that. <laughs> yes, you do. <sighs> well, this is nice, Bob. Yeah. And you know what we should do? Is we should have, um, like, a works... Like the gone fishing Christmas works do. Oh, yeah. What, like a works party? Yeah, you know what I mean? Christmas parties. I love Christmas parties. Did you like them? Yeah. Well, let's do one of them. All right. For gone fishing. Yeah, that's good. Now, fetch me another drink, Chivers. <laughs> Certainly, sir. <laughs> morning. Good morning. It's nice living next to an old gentleman. <laughs> I feel like I can, you know, look after him, check oh, up on him. yeah, that's nice, yeah. What we're going to do today, then, Paul, there's well, water you, about. You see that wave out there, Bob? Yeah. Does that fill you with dread? I ain't going out there. You are. But you're oh, going please, beyond Paul, that. No. And beyond, yeah. Pitting your wits against the denizens of the deep. Come on. The salty oh, foes. Oh, Imagine man. them out there. That's the North Sea. It's not the Caribbean. <laughs> I'll tell you what, in the spirit of Christmas, right? Oh, yeah. That giving. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll go out with you, but I'm not happy about it. Come on, Bob, you know you want to... <clears throat> How are we then? I don't associate the sea with Christmas. No, I really. think in all the iconography of Christmas, the sea is conspicuous by its yeah. absence, isn't it? Hello, Sean. Hello. Right, Hello. How are you? Welcome aboard. Remember, Bob, fixed point. Look at the horizon, all right? So what we're doing here, Bob, is we're fishing our lures right down over an old wreck, OK? Yeah. An yeah. old shipwreck. And what the wreck serves to do is provide a haven, a maritime ghostly haven for all sorts of fish, for small bait fish and for the predators. They lie in wait lurking, you know, like you do. Yeah. Oh, look, look! Bold look at him! Like. <laughs> Get out of it! It's like a hippo, look! It's that Labrador looking at look. you, isn't it? Having a right old gander. He's got a good... He must be a size 20 collar if he was getting shot. He shirt. is, isn't he? Look at his whiskers! Oh, oh. I bet you're better at fishing than us, aren't you? 
Hello, my name's Len Seely. Len Seely? Um, I represent all the other seals in this area. <laughs> uh, there is a small tariff you'll need to pay. Uh, give it to the Arbor Master and he ships it on to us. Ooh, nice. Whoa! That's nice. like me entering the back. <laughs> Well, that is fabulous. Well, it's exciting. Lovely. I've never seen yeah. one of them before. Have you not? Never. Well, you've never seen a seal? Never seen a seal. I've seen sea lunt around the plug and Yeah. Now. Do you know the difference now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you in hog? Yeah, I'm in something, but I keep thinking that, Bob, and then. Yeah, oh, a pouting. I was going to say, what's a that? pouting. Now, a these pouting. are very special. Whoa! I've caught a special fish, Bob. <laughs> Look at the sheen Look on it. Look at an exciting pouting, isn't it? A pouting. A pouting. A pouting lake. Gun on, pouting. Hot on. And away. Your waders are falling down, Bob. Are they? <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Might be our final fish this pool. We'd better call it a tie okay. in a minute. Yeah. Because I'm going to take you to my own town, Middlesbrough. <gasps> Try and give you a window into my youthful Christmas experience. No, nope, nothing on the end of that. I'm in, though. Are you? Step aside. Step aside. Are you really? Oh. See that? Look at that! Hmm. Well, I don't know. Are it's you... massive! Pull it up and Whoa. then wind down. I think it's a clonker. Is it a clonker? Ah, you've got a cod. I've got a cod! You've got a codling, look. Yeah, bring it in. <laughs> yes! <laughs> the cod man! <laughs> the cod king! The cod man come up! You are the king of the sea. Basically, you? yes! yes. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, wow. There we go. A great wow. British cod. Look at that, look. Look at the head on him, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> well done, boy. Man, man out. Whoa! He's gone. Ooh, He's and all right. Away. And away, Bob. Well done. <laughs> Was that a Christmas god? <laughs> Quite a long way down to that sea bed, isn't it? Oh! Sorry, Bob. You all right? It's all right. This is the longest we've been away together. And, you know, certain things, you know, start to grate, don't they? What's annoying about me? Um, singing all the time. Singing all the time. Sniffing all the time. You sing quite a lot. I was trying to have a nap yesterday afternoon. What can I hear? I'm in the mood. I'm in the Coming from downstairs. Sorry. And it's been so long But I will be there I sing this song To pass the time away Driving in my car Driving home for Christmas So here we are, Paul, right? At my childhood home. I was born in that room. See, the second of the windows, the larger window. Yeah. That's where my mum's bed was. That's right. where I came into oh, the world. Oh, you're born at home? I was born at home. Because oh, yeah. I was the fourth. They didn't, yeah. Do you know, after the second, you didn't get the hospital on NHS. Really? You had to do it at home. Uh -huh. And uh, that was my bedroom next to it. Uh -huh. Was and that before you moved to the front with your mould collection, yeah? No, mould collection <laughs> in that room. Then I moved yeah. to the front. Yeah. And it was in the front little bedroom where I sat with my um, blackhead remover sauna and watch the kids in the streets on their new bikes and with, oh, their, yeah. with their unicycles. <laughs> so underneath my mum's bedroom, that's mm. my Christmas memory room. Yeah. So that's where we had, uh, we put four stockings up, four boys. Yeah. Have a little pile of um, presents. Tough for your mum, Bob, wasn't it? What, when four the dad boys. died? Yeah, yeah. Well, this has been on this field here, Paul, because when I came home from school one day, and there was a police car outside the house. And I, I went to the front door and the neighbours just like shooed me. Literally like cattle. Shoo! Now. So me and my brother, we stood here and we're looking at the house thinking something was, so there's something wrong here. Yeah. Then my mum and a policewoman appeared at the back door and she was crying and we knew, whoa, Blimey. this is a big deal. Blimey, so of course that was... How that, old were you? 
I think I was seven, six or seven. I've got a little picture. That was me. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> can you see the slight porkiness? I can see the wide features. Let's say that is really wide. <laughs> and this was me. That's, the, that, that's one of the few photos I got of my mum. Oh, She's not wow. very old there. No. I can see the family resemblance there. Yeah. Yeah. I it's think not it, a very Christmassy memory, Bob, is it? But Blimey. That's where all my memories are of Christmas. You know, right. when my mum told, she, t she gave me a bath that night. She hadn't, didn't say anything, she gave me a bath that night. And then when she was dry, drying me, she, she said, I've got something to tell you about your, your dad. And she said, uh, you won't be seeing him again. I'm afraid he was, I can't quite remember the words. And I ran into that bedroom. Bloody hell, Bob. And had a good cry. But I wanted, to, I just thought you might like to see it because it's weird where your important memories lay, you know what I mean? And they lay here and they're mixed with um, yeah. a lot of happiness and a lot, a lot of sadness. Of sadness you know? yeah. But I can't reject either of them. No, you have to live with both, Bob. Yeah. Mums are Christmas heroes, aren't they? I sometimes think if it wasn't, if I didn't have the wife, how much effort I'd make, you know? Well, there you go. Yeah. Come on then, lovely. See you, Mum. She will always carry on. Something is lost, something is found. They will keep on speaking her name. Some things change, some stay the same. And where are you taking me now? I'm taking you up into the North Yorkshire Moors. I've rented. A Christmas cottage for two. There it is, Paul, in Whoa, the distance. Can you well, see the lights? I tell you what, Bob, looks like they've done it to your specifications. I just they? said, pick up Christmas <laughs> and throw <laughs> it at the front door. <laughs> Check it out, Paul. Christmas awaits you. <laughs> Don't laugh at my Christmas. No, I mean, it's like Dickensian, isn't it? What I want you to do, Paul, yeah. is I've brought some decorations. Yes. Yeah. I would like you to decorate the tree. I'm going to cook you um, a Teesside Middlesbrough speciality called a chicken parmo. Can you say that Teesside style? Chicken parmo. Be about 20 minutes. OK. Baubles. Baubles to you, Mr Mortimer. I'd like you. For Christmas Please make my wish come true Cause I trim trees And deck the hallways Oh, is that tree coming on, Paul? Be mine the tree, Bob? What's he doing? Look at all this work I've done with the robins and... These were already on, Paul. You have literally done nothing. ...comes through And he remembers that I like you for Christmas Hey, little fella. How you doing? You looking forward to Christmas? We are. Where are you? Oh, are you fit? Are you exhausted? Are you? Oh, I'm spent, mate. Yeah. I'm going to inspect the tree later. Come and have your palm up. So yes, it's a, a kind of traditional Teesside Middlesbrough takeaway dish. Yeah. The recipe was invented by an American who came over and married a, a lass from the borough. It features flattened chicken. Um, breadcrumbs, a bechamel sauce with garlic and cheese. Um, so, tuck in. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I see we've got some chips with it, Bob. Yeah. Oh, well, it's not a particularly healthy dish, Paul, right? No, it's not, so is it? I, I've served it with reduced chips. Right. There should be five. We've got five each. Right, OK. Yeah, it's quite chip-free, isn't it? Cheers, Bob. Cheers. Hey, and cheers. To the, to the Palmo. To the Palmo. To the northeast and the Palmo, really, Thank you. isn't it? And to uh, that, that grey seal, what come and made friends with us? He was, was a character, wasn't <laughs> he? He was a white character. <laughs>
I'll tell you what, Bob, he's more of a character than I am. No way! Don't you ever say that, Paul. Bob! What, have you seen a spider? No, our chips have reproduced. Look, a little baby Christmas chip. It's a miracle. It really is. And it only happens this time of year. Crunch on it, my child. You lucky, lucky man. <laughs> I've lived for the day that I would get the surprise crispy chip. It's mine. I am going to catch a grayling today. You've got to believe. I like it. Very Christmassy, wintry fish, the grayling. It, you know, that's when you fish for it. Yeah. The tea's a beautiful river, I believe. Well, we're about to find out mm. on this little journey. It's a bit cold, isn't it? Yeah. You can feel the winter's icy grip beginning to take hold. Have you actually fished on the tees before? Paul? Never. Does a new river give you a new river feeling? It does, Oh, yeah. that's one. Yeah. And the tees, of course, is a transformed river, isn't it? Well, it was dead when I was young. Yeah. Man. No oxygen. Yeah. For ten what miles. What colour was it? Orange? <laughs> kind of orangey-green. <laughs> it's basically poison, isn't it? Basically, yeah. So there it is, yeah. Ooh -hoo. What do you think? It's amazing, isn't it? You I like it? Yeah, I wasn't expecting it to be so dramatic, really. Yeah. Yeah. Proper. Proper. What's the plan, then? I've got um, a float yeah. and a maggot. Yeah. You're going to trot for grayling, and I'm going to try fly fishing for grayling. Okie doke. Give it some nymphs and get right down deep. See you around, Paul. I'm going in. Go on, son. I've got a few bits to do on this yet. Bon chance, Marie. <laughs> Mountain goat. Mountain goat, look. I put all the slippery boulders in last night for you. Oh, thank you. No, but you did, didn't you? Yep. <laughs> Intrepid. Right. It's coming on Christmas. They're cutting down trees. Putting up reindeer, singing songs of joy and peace. I wish I had a river I could skate away on. Yeah, oh. But it don't snow here, it just stays pretty green. I'm gonna make a lot of money, then I'm gonna quit this crazy scene. I wish I had a river I could skate. I got a bit um, sad after visiting my mum's house. It's a melancholy little episode, wasn't it? Yeah. The thing that got me was the garden was overgrown up to this height, just weeds. Yeah. And, and of course, I can remember my mum where she had put like put a chamomile and a, a clematis and a daps and a little path that she built. And it's just I, I, I sense Sheila thought, oh well, I, want, I hope someone will enjoy this when I'm gone. All that beauty she'd created now neglected. Yeah. Yeah, that is a sad little image, isn't it? Yeah. You know Christmas cake? Yes. How does that make you feel? Well, traditionally, you mean, a Christmas cake was a way of preserving all the fruits that you'd harvested from the summer in yeah. the autumn, and keeping them in edible form, wasn't it? So you see a Christmas cake and you think of fruit preservation? Const yes, exactly what I think. Constituent parts. <laughs> what do you think of when you say... Well, I'll I tell you what I see when I see a Christmas cake. Obligation. To eat something I don't really like. That is a good now, one. Now, that's an answer, isn't it? I think you've topped me. <laughs> Oh, you're tense, aren't you? Uh, There's something over there. You reckon? Well, I'm surprised we haven't had more bites than this bob in here. It's a bit cold today and the river's up a bit, so we'll try and find some excuses, shall we? Like we're not getting any younger, Lake. Ah, uh, you got that right. Time passes. Tick tock, tick tock. Oh, 
Where's Teddy? Look. Hi, Teddy. Come on. Are you back with the crew again, Ted? You come to join us, yeah? Nice to see you. Yep. Way! Paul! I can come in. All right. <laughs> Don't lose it. Get the net, Paul. I'm getting it. <laughs> well, you got a trout now or a grayling? I've got a grayling. Oh, wow. <laughs> gently, gently. Come here, Paul, just gently over. Oh, no. Ooh. Whoa! <laughs> You've got to bring him back towards me, Bob. That's it. Great. Right. <laughs> hey! Whoa. Oh, look at that. Good oh, fish, Oh, first grayling, Paul. Whoa. Well done, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought it would be me, Paul. <laughs> Hats off to Fatty. <laughs> Good fish. Look at that. A slightly strange fin. Can I hold him, Paul? Yes. Jesus He's strong. I know he is. Right. <laughs> well done. Let's put him back. He's got to go back. Oh, thank you. Oh, there he goes. He's so strong, look. It's amazing, it's isn't amazing. it? Amazing. What a fish. And, and away! away. <laughs> <laughs> well oh, done, Bob. I've got that thrill feeling. <laughs> look at that. Man, man of the river, aren't you? Right, we've got to get you one now, son. Oh. I've had my fun. Oh, don't you patronise me. <laughs> right, coming in. I'll take that as my first Christmas gift of many, I hope. Uh, what a lovely Christmas present yeah. that is, a grayling. Oh, oh, lovely. Excellent. Paul. Yeah? I'm proud of my local river giving me that grayling. It's fantastic, and I was pleased with that result, Bob, that the teas came good for you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have to nick off in a minute. Are you? Yeah, you know how works do? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, it's for real. Right. I'm going to go to an old haunt of mine. Right. Get it all ready for you. <laughs> OK. What have you actually got lay laid on for me, Bob? What, you want to ruin the surprise? OK. Paul, it's going to be fun. Oh, I love fun, Bob. Exactly. Hey, Dave. Hey, Bob. Thanks for having me in your kitchen. No problem. So, Dave, I'm hoping you might show me a unique and satisfying way to cook sprouts that we make Paul will enjoy. Yeah? He's okay. not a sprouts, man. No problem. You've got some sprouts here. What you need to do is take the bottoms off. Yep. Like that, and take the outside leaves off. Okie doke. Bottoms. Outsides. What we're going to do with them, we're going to put some like pancetta and some chestnuts in with them, cook them in some clarified butter. Clarified butter? Yeah, clarified butter. Tell so me you, about clarified butter. So you, you separate the butter from the whey so, that, so the, you get the clear butter. It makes them go really crispy and golden. Is that slightly healthier then? I don't no. know, it's butter, isn't it? More, intent <laughs> more intensely yeah, yeah, unhealthy. Yeah. So next, you've got some lovely smoked pancetta. Right here. And then we just want some nice chunks. I tell you what, Dave, that is so fatty. I know. You know, I'm not meant to have fat. I know, I know, but it's Christmas. What are you doing to me, it's man? It's Christmas. <laughs> well, we, yeah, we just, that's yeah. the excuse. Yeah. Yo, are you a borough lad? Are you from Middlesbrough? Yeah, I'm from Middlesbrough, yeah. Born and bred. Do you know Chris Rea, the musician? Yeah. Driving on for Christmas. Driving on for Christmas, yeah. Yeah, classic. Well, he's coming here to meet us this afternoon. Is he? Yeah, I've oh, got no, that's amazing. He was a hero of mine when I was young. Got 
got some chestnuts as well. That's perfect. Right, yo. We're going to get the pancetta and the chestnuts as well. You know, for people with heart disease, Dave, chestnuts is like super food. Really? Yeah. And now you can add the sprouts to that now, Bob. I can add the sprouts. I mean, Dave, this is a meal in itself, isn't it? Blimey. <laughs> yeah. They do look very nice. Thank you. They'll be hot, though. Be careful. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Boom! <laughs> That's how to do his sprouts. Chris. Thank you so much, Dave. No problem at all. And you're doing as our works do lunch, Christmas dinner. I am indeed, oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah. I hope it's all... Oh, whoops, a daisy. So, Mr Chris Rear has arrived, oh, Dave. Oh, wow. Amazing. I'll go and have a chat to him. See you later. See you thank soon. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Hiya, Chris. Thank you for coming up, cos you're a borough lad as well, yeah? I am. Do you remember it fondly? I just thought I'd drive home for... Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I was on the door when I wrote that. Really? Yeah. I'd just been... My manager had just left me. I'd just been banned from driving. Right. My now wife, Joan, she had to drive down to London, pick me up in the Mini... Yeah. ..and take me home. Right. And that's when I wrote it. What do you think when you hear it? You must hear it all the time. I think of uh, that lovely little holiday in the Maldives. That it got you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not a very good pop star. I wish I was. No, you're not very pop star, are you? <laughs> I'd like to be. You know, when I look at Sting and people yeah. like that, I think, yeah. God, I wish I was like him. Yeah. Do you, what, do you like Christmas, Chris? I love it. You love it? Yeah, I love it. This year's Christmas, what will it look like? Big Christmas tree. Yeah. Candles on the table, sprinklings of stars on the tablecloth. Yeah. And a fine assortment of wines for Christmas. Right. Cos Paul's a little bit cynical about it. But he's, he's cynical about everything, isn't he? Yeah, he's Cockney. Cynical Cockney. Be afraid! <laughs> he's arrived! <laughs> isn't this incredible, though, isn't it? Is it Mr Real? I know, it's amazing. <laughs> Do you know what? I'll tell you what, Chris, the personal thing for me is I remember being in my bedroom and there was an interview on with you. It was really important for me because I thought, there's a bloke, he's on the, he's on the radio, he's got a record out and he's from Middlesbrough. <laughs> it was, I thought, you know, maybe anything can happen. <laughs> Chris, when we're fishing, we, we always go on about our health, don't we? Oh, we do. But, but, <laughs> you, you're a walking miracle, aren't you, really? Tell us what your health okay. problems have been. 1994. Most incredibly successful year. What's that? Bing. Abscess on colon. Right. Cholestomy bag. Um, they took away the pancreas, the duodenum, the gallbladder, and the left quadrant of the liver. Right. All gone. That took me, well, I have never really got over it, you know. Yeah. Type 1 diabetic. Um, I have to take 34 pills every oh, day. Every day. And then, after all that... What's happening now? Kidney's gone. Oh. What bit of you functions? But it'd be easier to see, <laughs> find out what a, you've got left. Well, I can link in to your, <laughs> you boys now. Yeah. I've got a very good heart. Oh, nice have you? Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I think... <laughs> oh, what's that? <up>? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I found, I know it's not in the same league, but I, I found that that journey of recovery made me incredibly close to my wife. A big one for me, that as well. Exactly the same, Bob. I'm still in hospital, and the poor stop pancreas nurse comes in, and she went, Chris, it's not grade three cancer. Right. Phone your wife. Mm. So I phoned her. Yeah, she, she pulled the car over, burst into tears. Oh, wow. Amazing. So she, did, she got all the money, uh, she got all the rights to all the songs. She won't give me them back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going. Thank you, Chris. Thank you so much for popping in. That's amazing. You're driving home.
Mm. Oh, I thought you could stand me up. No <laughs> chance. Oh. The gone fishing Christmas party, Paul. Well, this is a cracker, isn't it? Quite literally, Bob. Paul, we've got our award ceremony. I've got it all prepared. Um, here we are. That's the Gone Fishing Employee of the Year. Oh, 2020. Right. Oh, I wonder who it can be. And the winner is... Yes, for the fourth year running, the winner is Robert Mortimer. That's me. Oh, what a surprise. And uh, I've got an award there. Employee of the Year, Robert Mortimer. Why does that not surprise me, like, one iota? I didn't show any bias, I reckon, Paul. Yeah, but it's the same every year, isn't it, Bob? Yeah. Who are the candidates? You and me. Yes. Who's on the judging panel? You. Me, yeah. <laughs> Who wins? <laughs> you. Yeah, yeah, but I reflect on it fairly, you know, Finn. Oh, right, yeah. Honestly, you're so miserable. Here, there's another one. There you go. There's a second award. Oh. Yes, you read it out and then open the envelope. Well, yeah. Hmm. Gone Fishing Award for Outstanding Achievement. Ah! And the winner, Ted. The dog. Yeah. And look. Yep. Yeah. Gone Fishing Outstanding Achievement, Ted. Isn't that wonderful for Ted? Are you here, Ted? Ted! Come on, Ted. Well done, Ted. Oh, he's this year's winner. Yeah. Well, say congratulations, Paul. Congratulations, Paul. Well done, Ted. I think that's a really fair result. Go and get a sausage, Ted. Go on. Thank you, sir. Well, I'll tell you what, I've not been to a work do where I've had a Christmas dinner that looks as good as this, Bob. It looks amazing, doesn't it? Well, we shouldn't be eating this, really, should we? Why? But once a year... Turkey is lean meat, isn't it? It's a good, it's a good source of protein. OK, then. Um, explain that. <laughs> well, OK, now, that has sneaked in via the bank door. Wallop, as mm. it were. The awkwardness of the Christmas work do. Yeah. So where do you live? Nearby. You're nearby, are you? Yes. I'm actually a bit further. Oh, you're a bit further out. A bit further out. Mm -hmm. What department are you in? I've not... <coughs> I've not seen you around the office. <laughs> no, I'm on a different floor from you. Yeah. Mm. I'll tell you accounts. Procurement. <coughs> it's interesting, the action. <laughs> Nobody else has ever reacted like that when I've told them I'm in procurements. What do you do in procurements? Oh, this and that. This and that? <laughs> you do this and that. <laughs> I'm in accounts. And what do you do in accounts? Just this. We very rarely... No, that very rarely. Very rarely get me that. <laughs> What's happening after we've eaten, Bob, at the... Oh, I've got... Uh, well, I've, I've got um, <clears throat> entertainment lined up. Oh, right. How do you fancy... A bit of singing. Well, they know I like to sing, Bob, yes. That's why I've set up a karaoke evening for you. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, cheers, Bob. Cheers. Happy cheers. work, Steve. Congratulations on your award again. And yeah, congratulations to Ted. Come on, come on, give a little. That's him. That's <laughs> him. <laughs> Each time I remember the day you went away. And how I would listen to the things you had to say. I just break down as I look around, and the only things I see are emptiness and loneliness and an unlit Christmas tree. It'll be a lonely this Christmas without you to hold. It'll be lonely this Christmas, lonely and cold. It'll be cold, so cold, without you to hold this Christmas.
date of you last night? I can't do this, Bob. You don't have it, I'll probably have it. Oh, well, you've rejected it. Yep. Four eggs, Bobby. I can't eat, I can't eat. Set me up for a day, though, won't it? Look, what's that? What's that? Sugar. Is that a Golden Graham? No, it's a sugar you puff. Yeah, same thing. Have it back. They're not what they were, sugar puffs, you know, Paul. They used to be absolutely they gorgeous. They have got half as much sugar in them or as much puff as they... <laughs> <laughs> they haven't. They're not <laughs> no, as... No. They're much more... Yeah. I lost all that puff. <laughs> <laughs> if you spend a lot of time at the theatre, with actors and people, yeah. do they never get on your nerves? Because you know you don't have to go home with them. It's different. I mean, you know, in theatre with Only Fools, Bob, we're a very close-knit bunch. You must miss them, now. Yeah, I do. Well, we're in touch on WhatsApp, you know. Who do you keep in touch with every day, Roberts? I keep in touch with you every Yeah, day. we keep in touch quite a bit, don't we? The wife. Yeah. Well, you live with her. Yeah, but we keep in touch. Some people are like separate ships on different rivers. <laughs> you know what I mean? You'd laugh to some bollocks, Bob. <laughs> well, we're going to the teas again, Bob. Do you know what? Yeah. We are going to try hard, fish hard for a salmon, all right? If we could get a Christmas salmon, this would, that would just top this trip off perfecto, Wouldn't it? yeah. Wouldn't it, eh, mate? Anything? Nah, a few rocks. Let's see you have a spin. All right, I'll have a spin. How has it been for you, this odd year, Paul? Well, you know, like everyone, Bob, it's been a really difficult and challenging year. I mean, oh, I was tripping along happily doing Only Fools. You know, that had to close, and for a lot of the cast, it was, you know, it's a, it's a hit West End musical. It's yeah. sort of dream, and, you know, so you won't have seen them since March, then? I haven't seen them, no, since since March, Bob. I mean, it's the, probably the year, 2020, that I've spent the most time indoors in my entire life. <laughs> that would be true, wouldn't <laughs> that it? That is true, isn't it? I mean, you quite like being indoors, but maybe not when it's enforced, yeah? Yes. It was nice when we had that little train journey, wasn't it? Oh, I loved that, actually. It felt timeless, didn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, it does, just for yeah. 20 minutes. Yeah. Are you conscious that time's running out for you, Bob? Yeah. I yeah. keep thinking, oh, probably my 15th last Christmas, 14th, 13th. Yeah. Counting them down now, Counting them you? down, yeah. yeah. I ain't got any grandkids yet. Oh, no, no, nor have I. I know that my grandparents were, were heroes when you first have your kids. Look after them, give you a bit of a break. Ordinary heroes, Paul. Yeah. The cobbler, the key cutter. Yep. The refuse collector, hey, the tip operators. Not in there, mate. No, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, hold up, hold up. Hold what are you up. doing? What are you doing? What's in that black bag there? Oh, honestly, it's just paper and that. Well, let's have a look. <laughs> it's an axle. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't realise, you know, my wife said it was papers. The satisfaction of getting one past the tip oh, supervisor. Oh, fantastic, yeah. yeah. An axle, yeah. Because <laughs> that's the stuff you want to get rid of. Yeah. <laughs> right, Paul, I've bought a selection of soups, hot soup and bread. All right, love. I'll Cheers give you a shout when it's ready. All right. Excuse me, Teddy. Soup's up, Paul. Something else is up as well, isn't it? This? Yeah. I'd like you to sit in it. I'd, I'd like you to sit in it, if you would. Ted's in it. Well, Ted will get off for you. Come on. For Mr Paul. <sighs> I'll get in, yeah? Yep. Hey. There you go, Paul. Vegetable, yeah? Thank you. 
when I see you there, Paul, and your little Christmas throne... I'm like the picture of Christmas fun, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah. So do you feel a bit more Christmassy? Yeah, I'll, look, I'll go along with it, Bob, yeah. Yeah, I mean, look, the lights are flashing and that always, you know... <laughs> I bet you've been gobsmacked at how beautiful it is. I am. Absolutely. Oh, it was a lovely place to grow up. And with all this... Yeah. It, it's all so accessible, you know? Yeah, it's incredible. I'll tell you what I'm going to do now, though, Bob. What are you going to do now? Wolf this down. Yeah. And gun fishing. Well, oh, we're at the last chance to look for it. Well, I'm not mucking about. Come on. I'm gone fishing. Good luck, Paul. <laughs> Here we go. I got me a line. Boom. All right. Let it get down, Paul. Let it get down. The fish are lying low. The fish are lying low. Come on. Concentrate. You ain't never gonna be happy Anyhow Anyway So I'm gone fishing Oh, oh, he's in, look! <laughs> yes, yes! And I'm going... It's a trout, I think. Oh, but something, Paul, to end our day! Look, as we caught something from the teas. Go on, Bob. Well, it's not a salmon, is it? Look at that. <laughs> that is a teased trout. Beauty, it's a beauty. Look at his beautiful blue oh, on no, him. that blue sheen and the, those lovely red spots. Thank you, Mr. Teased Trout. There we go. Oh, he's frisky. Oh, oh. And, and away. away. Well, Happy Christmas. Well done, Merry we got Christmas, some of it. Hey. A little Christmas trout. A little Christmas trout. I mean, you know, he's not in season, but he That's came it. up, didn't he? He came up to say hello. Thank you, Tees. <laughs> Woo! <sighs> well done. Blimey. This is our last night, Paul, of our gone Christmas fishing. Yeah, it's a bit sad, isn't it? We should open the presents from under the tree. Yeah, of course we should. There you go, Bob. Tiny present. Yeah, tiny, yeah, but... As my mum used to say, Love from the best things come in small packages. Yeah? Yeah, go on, open it up. It feels like jewellery. It's, it's, is it a listening device for my neighbours? Yeah, it's ex-Stasi. <laughs> <laughs> it's a balance band, Bob. Explain. You'll be able to wear that and yeah. it will centre you so you never go flying on the bank again. Really? Stay on your feet. Well, that's what the claim is. You look like a sort of Maltese international playboy now, don't you? Hello. Do you yeah, see the yeah. boat in the harbour there? Oh, yes. That's mine. Is it a... Oop. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> now it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? With love from Bob. Yeah, that's my present oh, to you. thank you, Bobby. Do you need a calendar, like a famous gardener's titchmarsh? Oh, that might be nice. That sort of thing. Mm, this is a folder. Oh, it's a folder, Lee. Well, I've always needed a folder, Bob. <laughs> Oh, that's my mum. Where'd you get this? I reached out to the community. Blimey. Old programmes from our appearances. Bloody hell. She was principal soprano for Welsh National Opera at one point. Wow. Have you seen any of these things before? Never, Paul? never. Blimey. Look at that. Oh. She looks like you, Paul. Yeah, quite Especially similar. Especially in the eyes. Yeah, quite similar, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. Oh. I'm actually knocked out. I can't quite comprehend it. Well, well I think it encapsulates Christmas, you know, the memories, the nostalgia. That, that really does, so, yeah. Great, isn't it? Yeah. See what you think of this. Oh. Merry Christmas, Dad. Oh, Mo. Oh. Merry Christmas, Dad. <laughs> Carrie is. Did you like that? <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Oh, Lord. Oh. <laughs> My gorgeous girls. Yeah. Thanks, Bob. Happy Christmas from you girls. Oh. So, do you think I've managed to give you a dose of Christmas spirit, Paul? Yeah, I think you have, actually. Bob, you've really pulled out all the stops, haven't you? Yeah, I reckon. 
Cheers. Cheers. And a Merry Christmas to you. And to you, and a Happy New Year. And here's to many more. Oh, look. What? Oh. Carol singers. Carol singers. Oh, God's sake. I'll just leave it. Let me go and leave it. <laughs> well, have you got the money? Uh, well... <laughs> You're going to address them, are you? Yeah, I, I don't know. like the look of this. No, I'll be courteous. From is a mystery. It's of the changing of the seasons and the tides of the sea. <laughs> but he's the one that's driving me. Oh, no. what a lonely fool! This is the cost of uh, <laughs> only fools and horses. No! Speechless. <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> oh, 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 that is unbelievable. I've never had such a shock in my life. But <laughs> right, we've got to go and do the rest of the houses now. Get out of it, oh, Rodney, you plonker. <laughs> Did you not know? No, I had no bloody inkling at all. I told you no surprises, but that, that is a big That one. is a cracker. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> <laughs>